Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. That is today's episode on The Flaming Geek Show. Hey guys, long time no see. I am finally back and there's no better way than to come back from a long several months of absence than with Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Uh, this is a spoiler-free review and the next couple of days, hopefully tomorrow, I will be posting a spoiler review of what I thought of this movie that's going to really kick off the DC universe cinematically. So essentially, this is what the trailers gave us. The trailers really did sum up what we were going to see in this film a little bit too much. But essentially what happens is um, the film opens up with the introduction of Batman. It occurs with um, the introduction of Bruce Wayne, sort of the Bat origin. So the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne that leads us to the creation of Batman and then it jumps right into the action to bring us to Man of Steel and the events. Bruce Wayne was in Metropolis. He's there and he witnesses the destruction of Metropolis at the hands of two aliens, Kal-El and General Zod. And essentially this fuels sort of like this anger for Bruce who sees Superman as this alien outsider who's bringing alien matters into human world and he does not belong here. And so it's sort of a, a weird like cat and mouse game. Lex Luthor ultimately brings together Batman and Superman. Um, Bruce Wayne is investigating, Lex uh, is doing an investigation, and it leads him towards Lex Luthor. While at the same time, Clark Kent is investigating the Batman in Gotham City as he views the Batman's brand of justice as not just for him it conflicts with his personal morals and he is trying to find out who this man is and eventually these two men are brought together and chaos ensues thus the title meanwhile while this is all going on with batman and superman we've got wonder woman um who appears subtly throughout the film probably around like 10 15 minutes worth of screen time of wonder woman and she is leading her own investigation on um, Lex Luthor. You need to see the film to find out what's going on there. She's sort of like this amazing fighter with her own agenda there that's separate from the human affairs of Metropolis and Gotham City. Towards the end, our heroes all come together to fight, as we saw in the trailer, Doomsday. I personally enjoyed this movie. Um, it, I went in sort of with the expectations that I had from seeing Man of Steel, which I thought Man of Steel was an okay movie. I thought it was cool. It was probably one of my preferred films of 2013. Like, it beat Star Trek for me, which is a big deal because Star Trek is like the world to me. It's like Star Trek and comic books, like literally right there. So that tells you. Um, what it was to me. But there was still, of course, a lot of discrepancies in the plot and sometimes really boring scenes. Like, I personally think the whole trial of Superman could have been, like, eliminated from the film because it's introduced in the film and it kind of is there and then it sort of just disappears and people kind of, for, like, you kind of forget about it at the very end of the film. You're like, oh yeah, that's right. They were uh, questioning whether Superman should stay on earth and all that stuff. So like just little pieces that could have probably been removed to like cut down the runtime. But like I'm not too concerned about the runtime. Um, the battle scene with the three heroes together, I really loved that scene. Um, I loved any scene with Wonder Woman in it. She really stole the movie for me. Um, Wonder Woman and Batman. Um, you didn't really get too much of a character development with Superman. It was sort of like how he was in Man of Steel, mopey and like just really weird. Lois Lane was boring and kind of there whenever the plot needed her to be there doing her own little side investigation. And like, I don't know, I, I'm not a huge fan of Superman, which you can kind of see from my shirt, but like I just found him really boring and there were a lot of moments of dialogue where I was like, oh my god, he's so cheesy. 
But then I remembered like the Christopher Reeves movies and I was like, yeah, that was cheesy and Superman is cheesy in the comics. But I don't know, it just felt like really misplaced moments of like emotion or like affection between Lois Lane and um, Clark Kent or even Superman together. And you were kind of like, dude, like there's so much going on right now. Why are you doing this? Like, I understand like you're doing this for the plot, but like, oh my gosh. This movie hasn't really been getting the most favorable reviews. Um, when I last checked on Rotten Tomatoes, it had a 31% rating for the critics, 76% rating for the audience. So I'm gonna, I'm telling everyone, and I've been telling all my friends about it, go see the movie. Forget about what the critics said, like try to ignore that as much as possible and what is going on in the internet right now. Um, what's being said on the internet about this film so far. The film has only been out officially for one day. Regardless of what the critics critics say, I say go in with like your expectations of the film. Every You've seen the trailers, people have seen the trailers, whether you've just seen one of them or even if you haven't seen any of them, go in with your expectations. Not built in expectations of what critics have to say because that is their job to critique a film. And it's kind of upsetting to me personally that it's being compared to Marvel films. They're two different universes and I just wish people would see DC 